I'm sure a lot of MSBs have this figured out, but this is something that we've struggled with as long as I've been here. Um, that is trying to keep, um, trying to make sure that all of our tools are on all of the devices, trying to make sure that we're doing what we say we're doing, right? Um, so our TAMs and our BCIOs have spent a ton of time, you know, going through assessments, um, trying to make sure that all of our agents are installed on every device, you know, the AV is on everything. And, you know, it's just taking up so much time looking at, you know, maybe log in to each one of our tools to check that all the devices are there. Anyway, it, it's, yeah, it's really eaten up a bunch of time. So um, we've slowly gotten better over the years. Um, we've sort of migrated RMMs a few times. Um, one thing I did is um, I in our RMMs, I would write scripts. Um, that just runs on a device and checks if like you know the av is there like checks if each one of our agents are present and then it just writes to a custom field you know yes it's installed no it's not installed and that way it's just a quick way to like a single plane of gap pane of glass people can go there and say okay yep that's installed on every device um or whatever um but the problem with that is, um, so if we run scripts, that all depends on the device itself, um, because the device has to be online or else the script won't run, and then the custom field won't get updated, or maybe, you know, a device can be online, but then PowerShell is broken on it, or, you know, like, there's a thousand different things that can go wrong, right? So um, what I've done, and I'll share my screen, um, what I've done is just another in um, incremental version or update of that. Um, with Roost, so thank goodness for that. Um, so we're using Ninja RMM now, and luckily with Ninja RMM, um, it's it's really quick at updating software inventory or like any changes on a device. Um, it's also you know very accurate um, as far as at least in my experience, very accurate as to the software inventory. So. Um, yeah, basically we just, um, I, so I have a couple workflows here. The first one is super simple. It just um, gets a list of all our devices in Ninja RMM, um, puts it in this variable devices list, and then it runs a sub workflow. Um, here, let me realize that. Um, uh, it runs a sub workflow using, you know, with items to loop through each device in here. And, um, you know, it's not very complicated. It's pretty short, as you can see. Um, but what it does is, uh, well, first off, um, has an input <laughs> configuration. So each time this sub workflow runs, um, it grabs like the next device ID in the devices list variable. So um, what it does is, first off, it determines whether the device is Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, or if it can't determine it, it just does nothing. Um, but if we go down the Windows part, um, it runs this Ninja action list installed software by device. Um, and it puts it in a variable called installed software. And then on the transition, I created a bunch of variables for um, each one of our tools. So like CyberCNS, for example, um, all it does is uh, it looks in the software list and it does a regex, regex search for the string CyberCNS. Um, and this evaluates to either true if CyberCNS is present or false if it's not. Um, and then I'll get back to that in a minute, uh, what it does with that. Um, the thumb of our tools don't show as installed software. So like, um, Oh yeah, connect to gear. Sorry, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, some of them are just services like Threat Locker, for example. If you go to Add Remove Programs, it's not in there, um, it, but it is a Windows service. Um, luckily, there's an action to list Windows services by device. Um, so I, um, you know, get the services running on this device, and then on the transition, I make it a variable for Threat Locker, and it kind of just does the same thing. It just checks the services for. Um, it's a string threat locker in a, a regex search. Um, so again, it's going to be either true or false. Um, Active track, same thing. It's just a Windows service. And then at this step, um, update custom field values in Ninja RMM. Oh, whoops. Um, stupid Bing. So um, these are all of our custom fields um, in Ninja. I know they're named the same thing, so sorry if that's confusing, but CyberCNS, again, 
connect secure, whatever. Um, all it does is say if cyber CNS, if, if that variable is true, then write installed, else write missing. And that's basically it. Um, all of these um, do that. Um, kind of does the same thing for Mac and Linux, except for um, there isn't an action in Ninja for um, getting like Mac services, unfortunately. So we're just kind of stuck with software inventory. Um, and then, yeah, same thing. We just write to the custom fields. Um, and then it looks like this. So here's my computer and active track installed, um, cyber CNS. Oh, it's missing for my computer. Better fix that. But um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, pretty simple, but this has saved uh, kind of a ton of time um, just chasing down different software reports. So.